Hello everyone, my name is John Cito. I'm a leadership trainer and executive coach. I'm really happy to, to be starting a series of vlogs to talk about leadership for young professionals. Um, what I, I hope to do and intend to do over the next few videos is talk about leadership for young professionals and how I see the world for young professionals um, from the eyes of a fellow uh, leader in the corporate world as well as now myself being a, a leadership coach and and what are some of the the insights that I, I've gained um, over the many years that, that um, I've been a, a, a corporate leader as well as a, a coach. Many clients that I, I work with tell me, you know, you know what, John, I'm under a lot of pressure and I'm under a lot of pressure to, to deliver. Um, um, pressure from my clients, fr pressure from, from my boss, pressure from my subordinates, um, family pressure, financial pressure. And it makes a lot of my, my clients feel like there is a big load on their shoulders. And when I, I talk to them, there's always this glaze on their, their look and, John, what shall I do? What, what can, can I do? Our world is moving so fast right now. If you look at the economy and, and technology five or 10 years ago, um, that is so different from, from where we are now. And because the world is moving so fast, it requires that us, our lives, move just as fast. And it requires us to work just even harder and even faster just to keep up. And the price of it is a lot of leaders are feeling highly pressured and highly geared for, for this sort of life and, and puts them in a stage where I've got to move faster, I've got to move harder. And if I don't, something bad will happen to me. I will lose out. But it seems like the faster we try to move, the, the harder we, we, we try to move, it just makes it impossible to do it, to, to catch up. Because how much faster can I do and how much harder can I push? When I do coaching, a lot of, a lot of my clients tell me that John, it's, it's got to a stage where I can't sleep, I, I can't face my family, I can't, I can't, when I go to work, it feels like I've, I don't have energy at the end of the day, and it leaves me so much less energy and so much less time to spend with my family. I've been in a very similar situation where work, getting ahead and getting fast and getting up there and climbing the corporate ladder is all that I could think of. Um, at the end of the year, what was most important was my performance um, and how much money, how much bonus I could get at the end of the year. And this sort of life has made me question, what is there for life? What do I really want? What, what do I want to achieve when I leave this world? What is there for me? And the more I pondered about this question, the more the word life mission, life purpose comes to my head. And I start to question John, being in that corporate world and staying that rat race, what are you doing it for? Who are you doing it for? How much money do you need to earn? And what is the reason for, for doing all that? The more I start to question myself on this, the harder it is to, for me to find the answer. I, consider myself very lucky 
because at a younger age, I I found a, a mission, a mission to to serve what my life purpose is, and my reason to be is getting clearer and clearer. To you, young professionals and and young corporate leaders out there, I would like to urge you to spend a little bit of time to think about your life, to think about what do you want to achieve from this life? What is it that you want for your family? What is it that you want for yourself? And by doing what you do, how are you serving your own purpose? How are you serving other people's purpose? I urge you to look for that answer deep in you. And for me, by asking myself that, that, that question, and by, by making a quest to, to look for this answer, it gave me a lot more energy to move on. It gave me a lot more motivation to think about my next steps. So all you young professional and corporate leaders out there, I would like to continue to talk to you through my video, my vlogs, and I'd like to interact with you and see what comes out from, from this. Um, it is my passion and it is, I feel like it's my part of my life purpose to, to be able to to enrich other people's lives. And, and so I look forward to hearing from you and, and I hope you look forward to, to seeing more of my videos. And this is the very first one I'm trying. So thank you and hope to see you in the next video.